Here we go. We are live here at Lawrence Veteran Memorial Stadium for Boston City FC versus Vermont Green. Zero to zero on the scoreboard as we come to the halfway point of this first half. Boston City playing in the all red defending on the left hand side of your screen while Vermont Green in the white and green defending on the right side. Starting lineups today, Boston City with goalkeeper Nick Zardo, defensive duo Fernando Sanfelice and Aruchuka, fullbacks Matthew Tarnan and Kevin Herrera, midfield Gustavo Braga, Guilherme Silva and Marcelo Dominguez, with a 3-0 up front, Paulo Jr., João Gabriel Cardoso and Jonathan Inacio Obina. Vermont Green come with goalkeeper Nate Silvera, line of four in the back, Miguel Ventura, Jake Ashford, Owen O'Malley and Nathan Wester. Midfield, Jay Clardy, Rodrigo Ferreira, Bilal Kamal, Brag Anson, and Diban Wegbo, Ator Bjorsen up front. The starting 11 for Vermont Green. As we see Boston City attacking out of the left, uh, out the top left of your screen there. Jonathan Inacio has it. Obina pulls it out front, gives it to Cardoso, has two men on him, loses possession. Nice defensive play. Challenging clearance there. It drops back to Boston City. The ball almost ricochets over to Paulo Jr. It's back with Chuka. The defender takes it out front. Takes a shot. Explodes off of O'Malley. And goes out for a throw in. Throw in for the green. want to take the time to thank our sponsors for today's game. Remax American Dream. Whether you're buying or selling a home or just curious about the local market, Remax agents are dedicated to making your real estate experience memorable and enjoyable. Voted most trusted real estate agency brand by American shoppers based on a 2022 Brand Spark American Trust study. Sega Auto Sales and Flip Rental Cars. Sega Auto Sales Inc. provides you with the ultimate automobile buying experience. To learn more about our dealership and how we can help you with the next vehicle purchase or rental, please call us at 781-324-2334. We look forward to meeting you. Torcedores.com. Access now at torcedores.com and follow all soccer news from Brazil. Acesse torcedores.com para seguir todas as notícias do futebol brasileiro. Tavern in the Square. Continually adapts to fit the community in which it is located, creating a fun, casual atmosphere that is enjoyable for everyone. The Tavern in the Square. La Petite Enfance Montessori School, a brand new Montessori nursery program born to be committed with child centered educational excellence. Open registration now. Atrium Productions, the future is now. And of course, Red Lion. Here comes Vermont once again, trying to build out of their defensive defensive field. Here we go number five. That's Miguel Ventura. Tries to launch it out forward. Did out come out has it? Pushes it to the center of the pitch, and Fernando's there to clear it. Vermont gets the Rebound. Nice play over. Looking for Kamal once again. Takes it into the pitch. Cuts one. Good clearance. Defensive clearance there by Boston. Another good Vermont Green play. Vermont has possession once again. That's O'Malley. Tries to get it forward. Nick Zardo's there first to save it. Nervous start to the game here by the Lions. Vermont Green with their first ever game, their inaugural game, not only in USL 2, but in their history. Vermont team very motivated to come out here and shock the Lions. Let's see how the Lions respond. Nice cross, clearance over. Paulo Jr. tries to get behind it. Slows down a little bit, ends up losing timing of the ball. And he goes out harmlessly for a throw-in. 
I believe that was Guilherme Silva looking for the long pass. Vermont ball. Tom and Matthew clears it. Ball comes all the way back to Fernando. Kevin Arana has it out wide. Kamala on Dominguez. Number 10, very active on defense as well as offense. Better to the Lions. Guilherme Silva. Clears it over to Tonin. Paulo Jr. tries to get through two players. Wins a throw in. Tough first half here for the Lions. Obina gets in this one. Fights for it. It ends up ricocheting down to Paulo Jr. Looks for Obina in the center of the pitch. Can't quite find it. A long clearance over by Vermont. Obina certainly not as active as we saw him in the last game. Trying to get more involved. As we saw, especially in that second half of the game against the Pioneers, he's definitely a key man for the Lions. The Lions build out back again. Long turnover to Tana. Paulo Jr. can't get behind it. Vermont Green has it. O'Malley passes it forward. Here comes Yawson. Holds it. Kamal takes a shot. Nick Zardo makes the save. It rebounds back to him. And he shoots it outside of the net. Good attacking performance there by the Green. Athor Bjolson and Bilal Kamal. Two shots there by Kamal. The first one a good save by Nick Zardo. The second one explodes off the net. As Fernando starts build it, build up once again with Guilherme. Dominguez with the number 10 comes back to receive it and start play. A line of three there by the green. Right behind the number nine. Trying to pressure that line build up from defense. But here comes, oh, and it's a free kick there. Herrera was taking it out wide. A slide tackle. By the Vermont player. And we have a very dangerous free kick here for the Lions. Let's see what happens, what comes of this. A lot of tall players for the Lions. It could be danger. Obina, Fernando now comes over from defense. He's definitely a dangerous man out in the box. Gabriel Cardoso is going to take this. Crosses it low. Intercepted by the number seven on Vermont Green. Nigebo hoofs it forward. And it's Boston City ball. Boston getting a little more settled in the game now. Starting to like the pace of things. Dominguez. Paulo Jr. gives it back to Matteo Starnan. Who retreats it back to Big Nick Zardo. Taking the time to thank everybody watching at home with us. Matt Silvera, Violados Hayes, Joel Autor, Joseph De Leon, Marcela Vieira, Pedro Hartman, Michelle Keith Martin, Emma Show. Violados Hayes. Criticizing the long passes from the Lions there, but wanting some short passes. I have to agree. To throw and Kevin Herrera is going to take it. Twenty-eight minutes into this first half. Twenty-nine, almost thirty, almost half an hour. Very few shots on goal, especially on the Lions side. I don't think we've had a shot in yet in this first half. Need to settle possession a little bit more. And try to build creatively. Here we go. Obina's now coming back on his defensive pitch to look for it. We saw this a lot in that first game. Tries the one-two pass. Can't quite connect. It's down to Braga. He's pulled to the ground by Bilal Kamal. Referee calls a free kick. There's pressure in front of Vermont Green. Gustavo Braga, they're trying to take it quickly. Wasn't allowed. Tonin has it. 
Long pass once again. Dominguez couldn't put some speed behind it. Ends up losing to the green. Nice interception. There we go. Tana, the, the only change from the last lineup here. Starting over at left back for Ben Manugin, who started in the last game. Long pass by the green. Fernando right behind it. Solid defensively again. Braga comes on a little bit late on the challenge. Pushes Rodrigo Ferreira to the ground. It's a free kick for Vermont. Here comes Vermont. Another long pass. Looking for A4. He wins it. Tricky play. The turnaround shot. Nick Zarda was out of position there. A strange defensive effort by the Lions. Almost worked out. Here comes the counter. Long pass. Looking for Paulo Jr. He doesn't quite get behind it. Nice anticipation by the green. Very dangerous long pass by the Lions. Dominguez looks for Paulo Jr., who's well offside and doesn't even go after it. Easy save for Nate Silvera. Another quick roundup of our sponsors here. As soon as the ball goes out of play. So the Lions have it at midfield. Here comes Dominguez. Long pass. Paulo Jr. was making the run. Dominguez doesn't see it and makes the mistake. O'Malley has it. Building out for the green. Nice pass by Vermont. And Wagbo has it. Fernando's on him. Short little pass down the center of the pitch. Guilherme Silva was there. Nice anticipation. Very dangerous attack and play by the Vermont team. As the Lions, here we go, now passing it to build out. Another free kick there by Bilal Kamal. Stop and play once again. As we do another roundup of our sponsors for today game, today's game, starting with Remax, American Dream, Sega Auto Sales and Flip Rental Cars, Torcedores.com, Tavern in the Square, La Petite Enfant Montessori School, Atria Productions, and here comes the Lions. Dangerous play by Kevin Herrera. Crossed it into the box. O'Malley was there to push it out for another throw-in. Dangerous throw-in for the Lions. Puts it in the box. Obina has it. Feels the pressure. Tries to turn it around. Can't quite do it. The defense clears it. Still Lions ball. Another heavy clearance there this time. By number 33. Here comes Niebe once again. Out wide. He's fast. Gets through Herrera. Pushes it into the box. There's too many Lions in the box. And it's Marcelo Dominguez there to clear it out for a throw-in. Here comes Kamau once again. Tries a little dribble there. Not on Guilherme. He takes it. Gives it to Braga. Cardoso. Building calmly now, settling things down to Lions. Long clearance to absolutely no one this time. No need for that whatsoever. There was no pressure. Gives it back to the green. Nice little play. Cheeky little pass there by Nwegbo. The cross comes in. Intercepted by Fernando. That had the right address. It was Athorp Jorgsen in the box. But the big defender gets in. Poor clearance there. Here comes Wagbo with a shot. And it goes out of bounds. Poor, poor pass there by Mateo Stanen, the, the debuting player today. Almost giving the wrong call, calling card as he gifts it to Wagbo, who can't quite finish as well as his, his touches have been in this first half. Chuka building it out back. There goes Guilherme. Comes in between the defenders to start play again. 
And this is what we need to see more from the Lions. Passing the ball patiently, looking for the opportunities to strike. Braga. Late challenge there. I'm surprised the referee doesn't call anything. And it's a throw in for the Lions. Danielle Salon here watching with us. Nuevo so saucy. So much sauce. Lots of sauce from the Vermont Green player. Nearly scoring as we have a another call here by the referee. It's a free kick, though. It's a throw in. Not calling a lot of fouls here. This in this Sunday afternoon. Fernando. Challenge. Tough challenge there dealing with um, Bjorkson in this first half. But he's gotten the better of him in most exchanges. Fernando Obina coming back to search for it. Nice little play there by Cardoso. But it goes out for a throw in. There we go. Guilherme Silva once again. Kamal comes at him. Searching for it. Fernando. Tonner. Ball goes out. Fernando, building it out from defense again. Guilherme Silva has it. Braga, hoofs it back to Fernando. And at this point, everybody on the Vermont green side of the ball just looking for these long passes and anticipating them. The strategy not working out. And here comes Kamal, nice pass. A. Thorbjörnsson takes it into the box. A slide tackle, and it's a penalty. A late challenge by Fernando. A. Thorpe Yolson felt the challenge coming. And went down. Looked for contact, really. You don't blame him. Good striker does that. He goes down. And the ref calls it. It's a penalty kick for Vermont. It could be the first goal... In Vermont Green history, the first goal the Lions concede in the season, the first goal the Lions would concede in all of USL 2. But big Nick Zardo's there, was a hero in the last game. Let's see if he can amplify his heroics today. It's Fernando's down on the pitch. It was a sloppy slide tackle there. It, he definitely got made contact with the ball first. But definitely made contact with Yolson as well. It went down hard. Not a lot of complaints there from the Lions. You could see it. Here comes Bjorsson. 40 minutes of the first half. Hands on the waist. Nick Zardo paces from side to side. Athor Bjorsson. The referee makes sure nobody crosses the line. The fans put some pressure on him. The weight of the first goal in Vermont Green history is on his shoulders now. Let's see it. Again, big Nick Zardo was one of the heroes of the first encounter of the season. Let's see who gets the better of this one. A lot of time to kick this penalty.
something going on in the sidelines here that he's not happy about. There was also a yellow card there for Fernando. And it looks like he's going to have to come off. Ben Manugian coming in with number 47. We'll confirm. I believe it was Fernando who left. San Felice who left with an injury. Let's see the free kick. Bjorn takes a shot. Shoots it is in. Goal! Vermont Green. Number nine, A4 Bjornsson puts it in the back of the net for Vermont Green's first ever goal. Vermont Green won. Boston City FC, nothing. And here we go. The Lions will have to fight from behind if they want to put two in a row on USL 2 in their second ever home game here at USL. And just confirming that substitution, number 14, Fernando Sanfeliz comes off for number 47, Ben Manugan. who started the last game at left back, will play the central defense. I'm, I'm, I see him right next to Chuka. He will be playing central defense this time around. Matthew Tynan stays over at the left back position. Kicks, free kick taken directly out of bounds. Poor free kick there. Goal kick there. By Nate Silvera. Paulo Jr. Let's see if that goal shakes up the Lions here. Wakes them up in this game. A kind of sleepy first half for the home team. Free kick on Paulo Jr. Late challenge there. By number 11, Nathan Wesser. Nathan Messer. And the referee asking. I'm going to pull it back where the free kick was. Marcelo Dominguez, number 10, is going to take it. Oh, he wants it exactly at that 39-yard line, that 41-yard line. Nice pass there by Braga, intercepted once again. Obina's going to challenge the defender. Doesn't quite get there. Guilherme Suva heads it back to Ben Manugan, his first participation of the game. Passes with Silva. Pressure there by Vermont. And Zara will build out with Tonnen. Poor stoppage there by Tonnen. Almost got himself in trouble. Chuka has it. Guilherme Silva playing basically as a sweeper, a libero, in this first half. Playing in between the defenders and starting to build up of the play. I think Coach Juan saw that they needed a little bit of more touch there in that build up from defense instead of these long passes. And has Guilherme playing in that a different position than he played, or which it looks like a different position than what he played in the first game. The final minutes of the first half here. Again, we apologize for our delay in getting it. We had some technical issues here at the stadium. But we are happy to have you guys for this wonderful afternoon of soccer. A warm afternoon, much warmer than our first game this past Wednesday here in Lawrence. Here comes the green once again. Miguel Ventura. Bjorn Bjolfsson can't quite stop it. He goes out for a throw in. Tomas. Oh, Guilherme Silva hits the ref with the ball there. That's not a cur in too many favors. Nathan Master. Ooh. Here comes the green. Master pushes it out wide. Nice little pass there to Athor, who trips himself up. Goes down. No foul. Tripped on his own legs. 
and it's Boston FC ball. Jonathan Obina built three men on him. He needs help all by himself, fighting for it. Huagbe pushes it back. Oh, cold-blooded there, number 35. 25, Jake Ashford. This time up, there you go, pressured him. The wrong pass to absolutely no one. Throw in Lions. With two minutes of stoppage time. O'Malley in between the legs of Paulo Jr. there. And a push by Guilherme Silva on a Thorpe Nelson. And it's a free kick. And here comes the green. Poor first half here by the Lions. Well below what we saw last uh, Wednesday. And Vermont Green, in their first game, are shocking Boston City FC. Finishing this first half with a 1-0 no win. We got a lot of soccer to be played today still. A lot can happen. Here comes Ventura. Hits it back to the goalkeeper. He can't have it with his hand. Obina's going to pressure him. Nobody's out wide. And Green has it once again. Long pass forward. Manugan's going to get it. Heads it right back to, to Nick Zardo. Who easily makes the save. And here comes Chuka. Kevin Herrera. Manuga is trying to find somebody. Here comes the come out once again. It's the pressure, man. Forces another error. Possession gifted to the green. Here comes Nwagbe. Nwagbo. He's dangerous. He's fast. He's smooth. Gives it to Kamal. Tries to get the challenge. Wins it. Turns around. Shoots it. Nearly the second goal for Vermont Green. Deb Diba Nwagbo and Bilal Kamal there. Kamal taking on the challenge. Staying on his feet, turning around and shooting with a lot of danger. Going close to Nick Zardo's goalposts. Still 1-0. As the referee blows his whistle for the end of the first half. So far, Vermont Green 1, Boston City FC 0. All right, we're going to go to a small commercial break. And we'll be back in about five to six minutes to tell you all about this first half and what's to come for the second half. Stay tuned. We'll be back.
Sega Auto Sales. São mais de 25 anos de bons serviços e qualidade. Oficina própria para melhor lhe atender. Compra e venda de veículos novos e seminovos com garantia. Todos os nossos veículos passam por uma revisão minuciosa, para que tudo esteja em ordem na hora da compra. Contamos também com serviço de guincho para aqueles momentos inesperados. Vem até a Sega Auto Cells e fale conosco. 449 Ferry Street em Molden. 781-324-2334. Sega Auto Cells. I graduated college in 2019. I played for Connecticut College. Um, since then, I started playing for Boston City in 2019 that summer. I've been playing for them since. Uh, I've played in Costa Rica, Sweden, and uh, yeah, now I'm here playing for you guys. Uh, I knew some connections after I graduated, went to a few practices, some tryouts, and made the team and have been on the team since. Uh, I've played for the seasons are pretty good, I think. I think we have a good team. Uh, excited to play in the USL2 this year, and yeah, got a good group of guys, so I'm excited. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Lawrence Veteran Memorial Stadium, where we have Boston City FC's second USL2 game, Vermont Green's first ever game in the history of Vermont Green. 45 minutes played. So far, Vermont Green won, Boston City FC 0, off a penalty kick from Aether Bjolson, a penalty kick that resulted in Fernando Felice's San Felice's injury to big number 14, stalwart central defender for the Lions, went down hard with the slide tackle, ended up getting the worst of it, gifting them with a penalty kick as well as getting injured in the process. A tough first half for the Lions. Uh, team struggled to find themselves on the pitch, seemed a little nervous, a little stressed. And Vermont Green took advantage of great play by Diban Wegbo, Bilal Kamal, and the goal scorer, Aethor Bjolfsson, playing as that target man up front. With the speed and agility of both Wegbo and Bilal Kamal, Green took a, Vermont Green took a lot of danger to the Boston City FC defense and deserved their first goal, if I have to be honest. We have a couple of fans sending comments here. I want to thank everyone watching at home. Regina Celia, Jose Maria Valenzuela, Thiago Villanova, Nubia Gross, Ronnie Malecki, Wahabu Mohamed, Andrew Cox, Fernand Diego Velasquez, everyone at home. Thank you very much. 
violate those haze there. Upset at the Lions playing with too many of these long passes and not enough buildup. And uh, we got actually, we have word from the number 10 from the Lions, Marcelo Dominguez, with some words as he left into the locker room. I want to pull that on your screen right now. Marcelo, fala um pouquinho desse primeiro tempo de jogo. Primeiro tempo difícil, equipe deles bem qualificada. E o critério de arbitragem está deixando a gente nervoso em campo. A gente tem que ter... É difícil demais é, passar por cima disso, mas a gente tem que ter tranquilidade e, e entender que o árbitro está apitando um critério para nós e um critério para eles. E agora é conversar e voltar para o segundo tempo acertar o que a gente errou. Perfeito, valeu. Uh, there we go, Marcelo Dominguez. Translation for you guys there explains a lot of what we talked about. The team was very nervous. Um, they have to fight back. Complaining about the referee in that first half, the refs using two weights of measurements there, uh, of judgment, saying calling things one way for the green, calling another way for the Lions. Um, and that made the team nervous, but something that they have to overcome if they're going to come out here with a win. That's Marcelo Dominguez, number 10. Very active in that first half, but could not be as effective as we saw in the last, in the last, in the last, um, the last game. All right, let's see what happens here in the second half. Uh, we have, we'll see if there will be any changes to the lineups. And words from some fans here. We have Vermont Green fans here on our Facebook Live page. Rob Adams, let's go Vermont Green. Wilder says once again, not happy <laughs> with the team. Sergio de Miranda Garcia, go Lions, sending good vibes from Houston. Adida Corey, Robert Glickman, Elder Costa, thank you everyone tuning in tonight for this ga great game. We see Coach... João talking to the number eight, Guilherme Silva, and the team starts getting ready to come on the pitch again. Definitely need to see some improvement in the last 45 minutes. I understand the nervousness with the referee, but they cannot use that as an excuse to lose their heads. They need to keep it, keep it, keep themselves centered, play in front of their fans, and need to come back. The team is capable of that. We've seen that before. And high expectations for this team. A, a very hot and humid day. 70 degrees with 77% humidity here in Lawrence. That should definitely be a factor as legs get heavy in the second half. This is a very important game for the Lions. Because remember, the team comes off of starting two home games in a row. But then go four times away in a row with uh, Pathfinder FC over at Pathfinder FC Field on Friday, the May the 20th, as the next game. And then five days later, take on the Boston Bulls over at UMass Amherst. So a tough sequence of games here for the Lions before the next home game, which will be on June 15th against the Boston Bulls here at Veteran Memorial Stadium. I hope to see you all here with us cheering on the Lions. Look at that, John Kelly watching the game from Limerick, Ireland. Good to see you, John Kelly. Thank you for tuning in. Robert Glickman, go Vermont Green. Lots of Vermont Green fans. Angela Garcia, let's win Lions. Vamos ganhar Lions. Brazilian nation heavily behind Boston City FC. And before things get going, I want to take the time to thank our sponsors once again. Remax American Dream. Whether you are buying or selling a home or just curious about the local market, 
REMAX agents are dedicated to making your real estate experience memorable and enjoyable. Voted most trusted real estate agency brand by American shoppers based on the 2022 BrandSpark American Trust Study. REMAX American Dream. Sega Auto Sales and Flip Rental Cars. Sega Auto Sales Inc. provides you with the ultimate automobile buying experience. To learn more about our dealership and how we can help you with the next vehicle purchase or rental, please call us at 781-324-2334. We look forward to meeting you. Torcedores.com. Access now. Torcedores.com. Follow all soccer news from Brazil. Abraços para todos do Torcedores.com. Tavern in the Square. Tavern in the Square continually adapts to fit the community in which is located, creating a fun and casual atmosphere that is enjoyable for everyone. Le Petit Enfance Montessori School, a brand new Montessori nursery program, born to be committed with child-centered educational excellence. Open registrations now. And Atrium Productions, the future is now. Do you need space to record a podcast, TV commercials, live streams like this? A space to make photos and videos? Atrium Productions. Access our website and know more at atriumadvertising.com. As well as, of course, Red Lion. Everybody on the pitch? Ready to go for the second half? We'll try to see if there's any substitutions. The Lions look identical. I see no changes by Coach Drone. Vermont Green looks just about the same as well. We'll keep an eye out to see if there are any changes to the lineups. And here we go. Lions start with possession. Dominguez is there. Center of the pitch, number 10. Very upset with the referees. Let's see if he can answer on the pitch. Here they come. The boys in blue. The boys and girl in blue. Paulo Jr. jogging out wide there. Angela Garcia, go Lions. Jonathan Russell, girl green. Harrison Villatoro, Bakersfield, Vermont, supports the green. Brian Coles, here comes the green. Lots of Vermont green players here, Vermont green fans. On our Facebook Live here. Thank you for watching with us. We hope to send you home a little sad. <laughs> there we go. Whistle is blown. Kickoff for the second half as the Lions try to come back on top of Vermont Green. Here comes Chuka. Turns it over to Herrera. Nice crossover there by Chuka. As we see number. Looks like there's a change in formation here. It looks like Manugan's going out wide, and uh, Tommen is, is playing a little bit more as a defensive midfielder. With Guilherme Silva posted next to Chuka on defense. Looks like a tactical change here by Coach Rowe. Here we go, wide run. Chuka looks for Herrera out wide. It's cut, cut off by O'Malley. Cardoso looks, asking for a handball, nothing to it. Herrera's pushing and pushing over with O'Malley. Nothing to it. Referee does not call anything. And here comes Wagbo. He's the danger man. Wagbo with the speed out wide. Herrera was all the way up front. Nice interception there to save it by Mateo Stonen. Cardoso got tangled up with the ball there. He's complaining that it did not go out. Very upset. But it's a throw in for O'Malley. Wagbo. Cheeky little dribble there. Try to heal it over Braga. But it's a throw in for the Lions. Obina heads it back. Number 35. Hoops it forward. There's Nathan Messer. Gives it back to the goalkeeper. No pressure from the Lions there. A couple of difficult passes by the defenders. Long pass over. But there's Chuka. O'Malley was trying to get behind that one. No, that was uh, Braj Anson trying to get behind that one. 
But Chuka heads it out for a throw in. A dangerous long pass by the defenders. Here comes Vermont once again. Everybody in the Boston City defensive field. Mistake there. Paulo Jr. gets it. Braga has it. Gives it backwards to Guilherme Silva. Cardoso. Dominguez. Finds Herrera. Two men in, two looking for the box. Herrera gets all tangled up with it and goes out for a throw in. And that was a wasted, a couple of wasted opportunities by the Lions there. I thought when Paulo Jr. stole that ball, that was a great opportunity for a counterattack. They squander it. It almost worked out, but Herrera could not get the ball straightened out there. And here comes Green. The wag ball. Did that go out? It did. It did. Throw in for the Lions. Tough one for the refs, but the assistants here saw it. Herrera takes it. Tonin. Cardoso. Tries to get two men. Can't. Through two men. Can't. Come out. Fuegbo. Ooh, late challenge there by Dominguez. The referee gives an advantage. Come out still on the feet on the on the pitch there. Here comes Green. I gotta think that's gonna be a yellow. Here's a challenge. Bjornsson takes it and it's in. Goal! Vermont Green. Athor Bjornsson in the back of the net. Beautiful counterattack by Vermont Green. And the foul, their yellow card for Dominguez there. Again, a poor challenge leads to a card and a goal for Vermont Green. Second goal of the game for Athor Bjolson. This one did not require a spot kick. Really nice play by Vermont. Objective in their passing. And the nightmare continues for Boston City. Here comes Kamal. Nice pass over to Bjolson once again. He's out of position. He shoots it straight. And Big Nick Zardo makes the save there. What a play by Athor Bjolson. The awareness to see the goalkeeper out of position and fire that shot into it. Didn't get it quite the way he wanted it, but forced Nick Zardo to make one heck of a save and push it out for a corner kick. Pressure from the green. As pushing and pulling there in the box is going to result in referee calling the players over and having a chat with them. That looked like uh, number 35 there. Whom I believe is Jake Ashford. I have him listed as number 25, but I don't see somebody with the 25 on the pitch, so I'm going to guess that's a, a typo here in my call sheet. And Chuka for the Lions. Here comes Vermont. Crosses it. Henner, both players, it's dropped in and it's in again! Goal! Vermont Green! 50th minute. Deban Wegbo volleys it into the back of the net for a Vermont Green goal. It's a nightmare scenario here for Boston City FC. Third goal of the game for the Green. As the Boston City FC players argue with each other in, in the field. Unhappy. But Vermont is just taking advantage of the confusion. And it's just pummeling Boston City here. Lots of complaints to the referees. I'm not sure what the complaint is on that one. There was a couple of challenges there in the box, but he hasn't called those all game. 
Here comes Braga. Herrera. Trying to stop the bleeding here, the Lions. Got to get one in the net if they have any chance at all of coming away with points tonight. Chuka out wide. Tottenham. Pressured. Nobody. He just gifts it to, N to Nwagbo. But nothing to that one. Guilherme has it. Herrera. Not the best games for Herrera. Let's see if he can make it up this time. Carries it. Tries to do it himself. Turns it over. Paulo Jr. is offside. Oh, it's Cardoso. Oh, Paulo Jr. The ref saw him a little bit ahead there and calls it offside on Boston City. What a game by Vermont Green here. Their first ever game, historic game. And they're up 3 nothing on Boston City. As we have row big dog, Vermont Holland, score twice. Here we go. Bjolson, the Vermont Green Holland. Lucy Gellio, Alan Josie, Brian Carroll, Robert Allen Ramirez, Kobe Kervik. Carter Neville, Chloe Strauss, everybody watching there at home as Vermont Green takes the game to Boston City. And another dangerous free kick here for Vermont. Delal come out. Looks like he's going to want to take this one. There's another player there with him. As Nick Samor getting his, his wall settled in. They're right on top of the of the line of the box there. One, two, three, four men. This looks like it's going to be shot directly in. Let's see who takes it. Vermont Green with a shot. And it's well above target. Goal kick Lions. Tough game here for, for Boston. Never looked like they got into it in the first half. And Vermont Green just took advantage of the nervousness. And it's funny because it, uh, you'd expect the Vermont team to be nervous, not Boston, as it's their first game. But it hasn't been the case. As Vermont wins another throw-in in their own defensive side of the pitch. Paulo Jr., Obina, both players pressuring better to Vermont. There's Anson, takes it, moves out wide, looking for space. No challenges by Boston. A win over, it's O'Malley, gets it out wide, gets through Herrera, gets into the box, carries it all by himself until he runs out of field. Nobody challenging him from Boston City. He cuts through the defense like butter until he runs out of pitch. And it's goal kick for the Lions. Two substitutions coming on for the Lions. That's number seven, Luis Felipe Fernandez coming on for Paulo Jr., had a great game last week. Not so much today. Luis Felipe came in at the end of that game and scored a goal, the second goal, for the Lions. And the other one is number 37, Dylan Dagnall, coming on for Tonin. Here comes Cardoso, pushes it in the box. It's cut off for a throw-in. Dangerous throw-in for the Lions. Herrera hoops it in. Obina. Ooh, mistimed clearance there by Green. 
by the green. And it's another throw and another chance for the Lions to make an impact on this game. Obina tries to give it back to Herrera. Makes the mistake. Nwagbo has it. Late challenge. And finally a free kick called in favor of the Lions. As Herrera is twisting himself off on the pitch there. free kick for the Lions. Scott Doso is going to take this. Looks like it. Hooks it into the box in the first post. Well anticipated by the Vermont Green defender. Back is going to take this one. Looks like he's going to try to get it directly into the box. He's looking for Obina. Wins it. The box is over. He crosses it. Shoots! It was Paulo Jr. He's actually still on the pitch. So, correction. That was Marcelo Dominguez who came off, comes off for Luis Felipe. Paulo Jr. is still on the pitch. And there he is pressuring. Anson. Vermont Green tries to build it back. Braga's on him. Anson. Come out. Looks for Nwagbo out wide. It trickles out for a throw in. Here come the Lions. Free kick out wide. And a strange shot back there by O'Malley. But there's no pressure at all from the Lions. The players seem tired. Perhaps not accustomed to this heat here. Heavy legs for the Lions. Here comes Domingue uh, Cabal. Finds Wegbo. He's not tired. He's still running. Nuegbe pedals one way to the other. Finds O'Malley in the box. He can't quite stop it. It's cleared. Back to Nuegbo. Goes out wide. The cross. Zardo takes it. It's going to drop back. A challenge there by, Bra by, by Luis Felipe. He goes down. Referee calls the free kick for Boston City. Nick Sardo's going to take this one way ahead of where the foul was. Now the referee doesn't care. Long shot forward, looking for Obina. Obina wins it. The header was off to Paulo Jr. The defender anticipated it well. Here comes Vermont once again with Anson. Carries it out wide. Finds Cabal. Challenges into the box. Well slid by Herrera, who saves the Lions. Braga, oh, and a challenge there by Cabal. He's saying ball. He, maybe with his feet he went for the ball, but shoulders to the back of Braga there. And it's a free kick, and the ref says one, two, three, that's it. The next one is a card. You can't complain there. Thirty-seven dog knot there. That's Dylan dog knot comes in to help to solidify this defense. Herrera with the long cross, easy for Nate Silvera, who has not been challenged today. A couple of shots here by the Lions, but nothing to make the goalkeeper work, and it's easily in his hands. Taking the time here to thank our sponsors once again. A quick run through by our, for our sponsors. Starting with, of course, Remax American Dream, Sega Auto Sales and Flip Rental Cars, Torcedores.com, Tavern in the Square, La Petite and France Montessori School, Atrium Productions, and Red Lion.
thank you to our sponsors. Vermont Green with the ball again. Ooh, poor pass there. Poor missed time, the, the stoppage there. And it's Boston City ball. Luis Felipe, Paulo Jr. Nice little twist there by Luis Felipe. Wins it over. Braga takes a shot. Into the hands of Nate Silvera. The crowd applauds him here. Finally taking a shot. Taking some chances. Testing the goalkeeper. You never know what could happen in this beautiful sport we call soccer. Kamal working out back. Ooh, and a challenge there by Braga. Referee doesn't see anything wrong with it. Cardoso takes it in the box. Loses it. Obinas tries to win it back. Here we go. Now the desire's there. Three players on. Obina once again gets it out wide. Looks for the cross. It's in the box. Who's going to get behind it? Come out. The challenge. One, two. Vermont Green takes it. And here comes Wegbro off the other side with the, with the counter. Bronson has it. Chuka challenges him. He goes down. Nothing to it. Clean challenge. By Adam Chuka. Aitor Bralson will not have a chance to get his third goal. His hat trick in. Here comes the Lions. The game heats up now. The Lions seem to wake up. It's never too late. Ask Real Madrid. Guilherme Silva turns it over. Here comes Herrera. Oh, and that's a foul. And that's a foul. And it's got to be a card there, ref. Deban Wegbo mistimed it, hooks Herrera, and drags him to the ground A judo play. And was that a yellow card for him? I believe it was a yellow card for Nwegbo on that challenge. And here comes João Gabriel Cardoso with a set piece. Vermont Green wants to make a substitution here. Let's see if they'll wait for the set piece. Or get it beforehand. They're going to wait. Cardoso hoops it into the box. It's well beyond anyone. Out for a throw in. As Vermont Green makes a substitution. It's number 24, Joey Morrison. Coming on for Debon Wegbo. Easily one of the highlights of this team. Joey Morrison coming in, number 24 for Deba Nuegbo, the score of the third goal. Here comes Green. Hoops it forward, looking for the run of Angson. Easy for a Nixon. Nick Zardo. Boston City building it out of their defensive pitch. Now it looks like the Vermont Green players are feeling those heavy legs. Perhaps it could be an opportunity for the Lions. Kevin Herrera brings it all the way back to his goalkeeper. Well positioned defensively. This Vermont Green team forcing the Lions to do this all game. Long passes forward, and it just hasn't worked. Let's see if it'll work this time. Kevin, heavy challenge once again. Owen O'Malley goes behind. Kevin Rivera is getting beat up here at this point of the game. That's a third heavy challenge he faces. No card on that one. And the, the referee stops play there. But he, he wants to take in. Closer to where the free kick was. And I think he helped the Lions there. Because it was important. They, they didn't take it where he wanted it, but this time he didn't care. Here comes Herrera. Out wide. Looking for the dribble. Looking for somebody to pass. There's no one there to help him. They bring it back all the way to Dognot. All the way back in the defensive part of the pitch. He tries the long pass. This time Cardoso was wide. Ooh, nutmegs! Gets through him and goes down. He's going to ask for a card again. He nutmegged number 30 there, Jake Cordy, between the legs, and then felt the challenge and went down. It's another free kick for the Lions. 
Juan Cardoso is going to take this one. Once again, he's, a, he's the owner of the set pieces here for the Lions. Let's see it. He's going to take his shot straight into the goal. Let's see it. Shoots it low. It hits off on Obina. Ball still with the Lions. Clearance. Chuka wins it. Heads it out for a throw-in. It's a throw-in for Vermont Green. We aren't interested in taking a throw-in here. They're interested in seeing this game come to an end. You can't blame them. It's been a memorable. It's been a memorable start to their history. And meanwhile, there's a yellow card for the for the the Boston City FC head coach here, Joan Garcia, for complaining. Meanwhile, ten minutes to take a throw in. And Dylan Dognott wrapped his arm there around the chest of Athor Bjolson. And the referee calls it a free kick. And they're just wasting time here. It might be their first game, but veteran play here by Vermont Green. And you can't blame them. Wasting time. A 3 nothing advantage. And they're just taking the time away. Nice pass over. Herrera doesn't let it get to number 24. Joey Morrison pushes it out for another throw in. Paulo Jr. coming out all the way back here to start play. Luis Felipe, a long pass over. And this hasn't worked all day. And it doesn't look like it's going to start working at the end of the game here. As Nate Silvera is going to track it all the way back to the corner of his box and make Jonathan Obina chase him. Vermont Green. Aethel Bjolson. Tries to find Joey Morrison. There's a touch over there. Vermont Green ball. I feel so ass so Mally. Come on, man. Hurry up. They're just playing their game. Guilherme Silva tries to take. There's somebody in front of him. Referee's not hearing it. Luis Felipe. Poor pass. Ben Manugan. Chuka. Herrera's wide open here on the left side. Chuka sees him. A little high, and Herrera can't get behind it. And it's another throw in for Vermont. Here come, the, here comes the green. Cardoso forces it, steals it, forces it again, steals it again. Obina in the box. The quiet Jonathan Obina. We haven't heard his name enough today. Tries to win it, passes it to Herrera. Poor pass, throw in. There was a touch there by a Vermont Green player. It's Boston ball. Herrera. Braga. Dylan Dognaut is going to hit it all the way back to the goalkeeper. A play that would be, had it been fair had the Lions been ahead on the scoreboard, not three goals behind. They need to try to get more men up front. Guilherme Braga. Finds Herrera. Here comes Herrera. Hoops it into the box. Let's see who can get behind it. Nate Silvera, challenged by his own defender. They clash in the, inside the box. The ball bounces freely, but Nate Silvera ends up with it. And now they're going to fall. Now there's going to be an injury. Now they're going to take their sweet time and take the time away as Vermont Green starts their USL 2 season with a heavy, heavy victory over Boston City FC. Again, let's thank our 
fans watching at home, Robert Allen Ramirez, Florence Glickman, Angela Garcia, Christian Carroll, Sawyer Shane, Lucy Gelio. This I hope this is added on to stoppage time. I think the players are all right. He's going to give it a drop ball there. And it should be just a kick forward, Vermont Green. They have possession anyways. Here we go. Referee blows the whistle. Nope, just gives it to Nate Silvera. Seems like everything's okay with the Vermont Green player. Part of the sport there. Here comes Luis Felipe. Cabal has it. Great game by Cabal. Pushes it over. Gets it through Guilherme Silva. Finds Morrison. Nice steal by Guilherme Braga. Trying to pull a counterattack. Oh, and there's a challenge there. Looked like an arm left. Referee didn't see it. Embellishment a little bit there by the Boston City player. It would seem. Play goes on. Dog not. Chuka hoops it forward again. Back and forth, and it's down to Cabal. Always Cabal. Finds Anson. Free in the bus. The shot! What a save by Nick Zardo. It's still Vermont Green with the pressure. And the ball goes out for a throw in for Vermont Green. Another nice play. Always Bilal Kamal. This time he finds Raj Hansen with a heavy shot, but Nick Zardo's there to make the save. Oh, and another rough challenge there, this time by Obina. Lots of fouls in this game. Doug Finney. Angela Garcia Garcia, Nick Pfeiffer, Sam Elvante Meissen, VTG FC. I think it's Vermont Green FC. Nice. Welcome to USL 2, Vermont Green. Very good team. Coming up here with this 3 nothing win so far on Boston City FC. Here comes Kamal. Big crossover. Who's going to get behind it? And it's in again. Another goal. Vermont Green puts 4 nothing on Boston City FC here at Lawrence Veteran Memorial Stadium. I couldn't quite see who got behind that one. A nice free kick. A nice set piece. A header. And the ball goes into the back of the net for the fourth Vermont Green goal in this afternoon. We have another substitution here. Number 17, Rafael Gross, coming on for Paulo Jr., Here comes Arena again. Crossing it over. Looking for Luis Felipe. Guilherme Silva. Kamal and Anson on top of him. Luis Felipe almost wins it. Still Vermont Green Ball. Chuka Hill gives it back to the goalkeeper. And what a win here so far. It's going to be hard, nearly impossible for the Lions to come out with anything. 
A very good game by the debut in Vermont Green. A couple of excellent individual players. And Kamal, uh, Nwegbo, who already left the pitch. And, of course, Eito Bjolson, classic number nine out front. As well as a solid defensive game that has stupefied these Lions all game. But here they come, trying to get that honor goal. A nice shot in. It explodes off the back of the defender and bosses out for a corner kick. That was Luis Felipe finally getting in the box. A heavy shot explodes off the back of the Vermont Green defender and goes out for a corner. The Lions don't give up. You got you, you to gotta give it up to them for that. It might be down. They're still looking for that first goal. And the shot goes in. It touched a Vermont Green player on the way towards the goalkeeper and goes out the other side for another goal kick, for another corner kick on the opposing side. Here comes the cross into the box. The header. Dylan Dogna trying to get under that one. Couldn't quite direct it in. It goes out for a goal kick. Nearly 10 minutes left in play in this one. And it looks like Vermont Green have an injury. You see goalkeeper Nate Silvera there signaling for the substitution for Nathan Wesser. He's got a leg extended down on the pitch there. I get very hot and humid here. We do see this type of injury in these heavily fought games. He's going to limp out the back. Let's see who's going to come in for him. Looks like number 18, Nolan Gimo. Is there chatting with the coach? Could be him. I think Nathan Western hasn't quite given up on coming back in there, but he did limp out of the side of the pitch there. And let's see what happens. Yep. Nolan Gimo, number 18, coming on for Nathan Wester, number 11. Long pass over. Luis Sleep is going to try to get behind it. Ventura is on him. There is a touch by Ventura, and it's out for a corner. Everybody in the box for the Lions. Trying to get that goal in there. They don't want to leave today with an empty score sheet. The cross comes in. Obina touches it, gives it back to his teammate. Balls in. Obina heads it backwards with no direction, and it goes out harmlessly for another goal kick. As two players getting ready to come in for Vermont. Number 15, Sam McCann is coming in for Braj Anson. And uh, number three, Charlie Adams. Let's see who he's coming in for. That was Ator Jolfsen. Score of two goals for Vermont Green. Chuka hits it forward. Obina tries to get behind it, uses his body well. Can't quite get under it. Vermont Green has it again. Chuka does it well stopped and nobody shows up to help him gets rid of it the way he can too many complaints by Boston City FC today with the refs you can't get into that kind of game players got a little bit too nervous today and Vermont Green took advantage of that nervousness Chuka Dylan Dognot Pressured. 
Is that that's Shugar, Sam McCann comes in. The speedster forces a foul on Dylan Dognot there. But coming in with a desire to make an impact here, number 15, Sam McCann. Chuka again with these long passes over to Herrera. This time he gets under it. Trips all by himself. Goes down. There's a push there. Referee's going to call that a foul for Vermont Green. Rightly so. Herrera went down by himself and held on to the ball. He can't do that. And it's Vermont Green with possession. Again, thank you everybody tuning in. Marcelo Mendez, Leonardo Monon, Buzoas, Varley de Hayes, Marcelo Mendez, Ro Big Dog. Thank you, everyone. Harrison Villatoro, 4 a 0. Yes, 4 to 0. Vermont Green fans, very happy today. Rightly so. Nothing but pride on their team tonight. Not the same for these Lions watching here in Lawrence. Chuka. Nice little cheeky pass by Obina. Tries to get behind it. That was Rafa Gross. Couldn't quite get under it. Still 4 nothing, 4 0 for Vermont. There's Kamal. He's pushed by Guilherme Silva. Referee doesn't see it. Let's play go. Nice little steal there. But the ball always just drops right back to Vermont Green. Cardoso couldn't quite get behind it. We see him screaming in agony there. Just nothing going his way today. As Owen O'Malley is going to take this throw in. Here comes Inacio Obina. Gives it out wide. Rafa heals it back by accident. Obina calls the challenge, goes down. He hasn't called that all game. He hasn't called it on either side. He's not going to call it right now. But he will call that push. Advantage Vermont. Turns the ball around. Here comes Vermont. McCann tries to stop it in there. Can't. Clearance is out. Possession still for the green. Kamal. Great player, Kamal. Number 10 gets in the box. Nice shot! Nick Zardo stretches himself all the way out wide and slaps it out for a corner. Yeah, I know Athor Bjolson had two goals today, and Deba Nwegbo had one, but Belal Kamal, number 10, all over the pitch, participating in the game in all phases, very dangerous. In my opinion, probably the best player in this Vermont Green team. And a terror for Boston City. Here comes McCann into the box. Herrera tries to challenge, gets it. McCann hits it again. Goal kick, Boston City. It's Dick Nick Zamora. Hoofs it for looking for Obina. Cheeky little play there by the Green. That was number 30. Jake Clardy. Ooh, missed slide tackle. Here comes Vermont. McCann's asking for it. He gets it. Gets into the box. Cuts it inside. Tries the shot. Dylan Dagnall cuts it. It's back to McCann. Out wide. Retreats it. O'Malley starts everything over again. With Clarity. Here comes Vermont. Looking for a fifth still. Haven't given up. Not satisfied. And had a poor clearance by Herrera. Drops right to the Vermont player. Takes it out wide. The shot goes in. Nearly a fifth goal for Vermont Green. But Nick Zamora was on top of that one and just watches it go out for a goal kick. Always with Herrera. McCann with the fresh legs here is just a complete nightmare for this defense. Who is tired. The speedster, Sam McCann, coming in there. And there we go. Another time. Long pass by Chuka. Looking for Cardoso this time. O'Malley's on him. Cardoso wins it. 
A challenge by O'Malley, and that's going to be a free kick. Two players on him. That long pass turned over, flipped over sides from Chuka, to most of the time has been Kevin Herrera. Hasn't worked out. This time it nearly worked out for Cardoso, who gets a set piece. Let's see if the Lions can get their first goal. Get things started here on the Lions side. Cross comes in. Hits off a couple players in the box. It's down to Herrera with a shot. It explodes off the cross part. Another shot. Out of bounds. Goal kick. And what was the best offensive play for the Lions all game? What a shot. The ball explodes off the crossbar. Nearly that honor goal by the Lions. But still 4 nothing. Vermont Green. Here comes Vermont Green again, going out wide, looking for the cross. Can't quite get it. Another corner kick for Vermont. Short, short kick. Vermont valuing possession. Hasn't given up yet. Here comes number 10 again. Come on. What a shot. Always dangerous. Bilal Kamal pedaling over Luis Felipe there, finding the space for the shot, forcing another great save by Nick Zardo. And another corner kick for Vermont Green. Another time to take it short. Nobody's covering Kamal. He's going to look for it. He's looking for his goal. He's hungry for it. Loses it that time. Here's a corner attack. Here's some danger. Cardoso has it. Looking for it out wide. Short pass. Herrera out wide. It's a late challenge there. Ref is going to give an advantage. There might be a card later on. Herrera with the cross. Can't quite find anybody. It goes out harmlessly for a goal kick. But there's a player down. And things are going to get heated here. That was a late challenge. And there's pushing and shoving there. Tempers are heated. That was number 30, Jake Clority there. On Gustavo Braga. And of course, the Boston players are not happy with the result. And this time, a very late challenge. I don't think there was a card there. No card. He gave an advantage. He didn't call it a foul. It was an advantage called. Play went on. Boston couldn't quite convert it into a chance. As we see the ref put up the, the, the board here, three minutes of extra time. Three minutes for the Lions to get their honor goal. Or Vermont to seal this win. As Vermont Green has it out wide. Long pass over. Here comes McCann. He's on side. Chuka's on him. Cuts him off that time. Ooh, and he gets a nutmeg there by Cardoso. McCann. Speedy McCann. Chuka, another long pass over. This time he finds Cardoso. This time there's space. Cardoso goes out wide. Finds Herrera in the box. And Herrera's going to take a shot into the chest of the goalkeeper. Who couldn't hold on to it. It nearly dropped for the Boston City striker. But it goes out for a corner. Boston still looking for that honor goal. Ball comes in low. Poor t poorly taken by Cardoso there. He's looking for Guilherme Silva there, but that was way too low. Not sure what Guilherme could have done with it. Here he comes again. Another cross. This one's up in the second post. Looking for number 47. Nobody gets behind it. 
And it's goal kick, Vermont Green. As another substitution is going to be made here by Vermont, it's Ekren Hadzik, number 31, who's going to come in. 31 Hadzik. Let's see who's coming off. Boston City has it. Pushes it out wide. Herrera has it. Puts it way too forward. And O'Malley, steady O'Malley there once again. Throw in for the Lions. As the referee blows his whistle for the end of a very bad game for the Lions and an excellent game for Vermont Green. Final score, Vermont Green 4, Boston City FC nothing. Congratulations to Vermont Green. Their first ever game, the game of the history of the club, their debuting game. They came in as underdogs exactly for that reason after the display that Boston City put up last Wednesday. But they definitely came ready to play. And they played a great game. Their first ever game is a, first, is a historic win. 4 nothing, And that's it. One for the history books, Jonathan Russell. I agree with you. Great game. Thank you, everybody. Big Rog Dog. Vermont Holland is the man of the match. Yes, Vermont Holland. Ayer Bjorsen. Great game. Two goals. I guess he walks out with the match ball for that one. I still like number 10, Bilal Kamal. I thought was the most dangerous player on the pitch. But with two goals in, you got to give it to Bjorsen. All right, I want to thank everybody for tuning in with us today. Everyone who participated. Thank our sponsors once again. Remax American Dream, Sega Auto Sales, Torcedores.com, Tavern in the Square, La Petite Infant, Montessori School, Atrium Productions, and Red Lion. Thank you, everyone, who tuned into this game. The, we'll see you guys again soon. The next game for the Lions is Friday, May 20th, against Pathfinder FC. That game is away. The next time we'll be with you is Wednesday, June 15th, versus the Boston Bolts here at Lawrence Veteran Memorial Stadium. Thank you once again, everyone, for tuning in. My name is Rafael Fraga here with Boston City FC TV, and we'll see you guys next time. Take care. Have a good night.